What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we have three more packs of premium gold for you guys. As you can see here, kind of lay them out like that. So yeah, let's see what we can get from this. There's still a few number cards. I think I have all the numbers and stuff, but there's still some really good cards in this set. So I thought I'd go ahead and uh, open a few more. But yeah, there's a lot of number cards in this. There's a lot of very usable cards, everything. I mean, this is pretty much the best gold series. In my opinion now, I guess this is the best. I, I used to say, I think it was 2 was my favorite. 2 and 3 always kind of confuse me, because they're, <laughs> they, I don't know. I don't know really why, but uh, yeah. Premium Golds now, I guess, the best gold series. I like to have it's three packs in these, instead of having just one. And not all those commons anymore. All of the commons used to be pretty good. It's kind of nice now just to have holographics and stuff. And I don't know. I feel like you get your money's worth with these a little bit more. Let's see what we get today, though. All right, we have an Eclipse Wyvern. Looks really cool. Let's see what else. Uh, <laughs> this is actually really hard to find. The gimmick puppet, a uh, jury doll. Looks really cool. And Mirror Force. That's pretty good. Pack number two, out of the first pack, I guess. <laughs> Don't know where they call them, like, boxes in a way, or I guess they're really considered packs. Number 32, that's nice. The, oh, man. I already have, I guess I only really need one that I have so far, because I'm not really just running this card. But I don't mind getting extras of this card at all. It's freaking awesome. Diabolic Dragons. <laughs> just looks so cool. Uh, very. I guess it's the money card of the set. It's the highest dollar card of the set. You can hear, probably hear a truck going by right now. <laughs> but yeah, freaking awesome. I'm glad to get another one of these. Nonetheless, Mizuki as well, and Armor Master. I remember when that first came out on the Gold Series. So yeah, at least now I have another one for trade, though. I have, like, two for trade now. Maybe even more if we're lucky. Alright, we have Gaga Ga Magician. I like that version of him, too. It looks cool. Magnet Doll. Of course, now I'm getting all the gimmick puppet stuff after I already got all the stuff I needed. And uh, number 31. Always getting confused with 13, of course. They look almost exactly the same. Trap Stun. It's pretty nice. Let's set this over to the side. Alright. Pack number two. Well, if I can get it open, the plastic is winning. All right, there we go. <laughs> Plastic's winning the fight against me right now. Whoa, <laughs> the packs kind of fell down in the cardboard on that one. All right, whatever. That just means it has a bunch of good cards in it. All right, we have Fire Formation Tenki. Looks really nice. It's a gold rare. Slide for the Sky Dragon or the Executive Producer. Very nice. I'm, I'm happy that these are easy to get to, and unlike the Battle Pack ones. See, I actually have quite a few of the God cards from these, too. They look really nice. I had to keep a set of them for myself for my collection. And then Drury Dog again. Dang. Now it's easy for me to get. Then Gold Sarcophagus is very nice. And another Caius. I have so many Caius. Hopefully one of these things will go up in price, because I still have a bunch of Caius <laughs> from, what was it? He was in an older gold pack? Yeah. And, uh, of course, the Structure Deck. So, yeah. I think I mainly have the Structure Deck one, too. Colossal Fighter. Oh, it's nice to see this one again. I think I only got, I got one of these so far. I think I have. And Obelisk. There we go. We got to get all the God cards. Maybe the last one will have Raw, then. And, of course, uh, Chaos number 6. Looks really nice. Spirit Reaper, Necro Gardener. I'd like to get some more of the Light Swarm stuff. I really didn't... I think that Judgment Dragon is Celestial. But I think also Slower Recharge is in this, too, if I'm not mistaken. I just hadn't got one yet, so that's why I'm kind of wondering if I'm mistaken or not on it. Anyway, we have Photon Dragon. Looks really nice, too. Uh, Utopia Buster. I don't think I got this card yet. Very nice. <laughs> Good. It's a card I hadn't got yet, so I finally got it. Then, uh, Chronomalies stuff, so yeah. Cal Sorcerer was back there too, that was nice. You just can't really go wrong with one of these packs. I mean, that and whenever Dragons of Legend comes out, I'm going to be doing a lot of pack openings of that. I'm probably going to get at least a couple boxes of that as well. I'm, I'm so psyched about that coming out, of course, having Tamias in it and all that too. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a few pack openings. <laughs> just a few, right? Like boxes. I can't wait for that. And they keep announcing more and more good stuff for that, so... Can we see what else will be in that so far? Anyway, last gold series. I guess we're on gold series now, so keep your mind on gold series. <laughs> Alright, we have Light Pulsar Dragon. Did I get one of those yet? Looks really nice. It's a gold rare. Everything seems to look really good as gold rare. Chronomaly. Let's see, uh, Ghost of Grudge, which is actually a pretty cool card. Then uh, this Volt Scalf, which looks freaking awesome. I remember always really wanting this card whenever it was uh, a pain to get. It was like a, yeah, it was a championship card. 
enough promos. There we go. Solar Recharge. Okay, I'm not crazy. Good. <laughs> I'd love to have a playset of them like this, though. Looks very nice. It's a good reprint, too. Then we have a number uh, Chaos 40. Another Chronomic. And Celestial. Very, or Celestia. I guess I keep saying Celestial. It's Celestia. Sorry. <laughs> but it looks really nice, too. I remember getting an Ultimate one. Ultimate Rare one uh, whenever the pack first came out. With Light Swords and all. So that was pretty awesome. And, oh, here's another Gold Rare I haven't gotten yet. Dark Magician Girl. Very nice. Especially since, you know, yet again, Dragon's a Legend with the Dark Magician Girl Knight. This will work very nicely with it. Then we have, like, let's see, what is this game? I can't read it right there. Junk Puppet. And Chronomaly, Morphing Jar, Poor Morphing Jar, and Raiko. I didn't know Raiko was in here, actually. I totally forgot about that. Awesome. So, yeah, those were our Gold Series packs. Still a great pack. I mean, like I said, if you especially haven't gotten any of these yet, you really should. There's a lot of great cards in there. Especially, you know, even if you want some cards to kind of add to your collection for your trade binder and stuff, to trade for other stuff, uh, definitely worth it. I, I can't recommend it enough. But, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, tell me what other packs or boxes or whatever you want to see me open in the future. All right? Later, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video, be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.